friends, my name is Carolyn. I am the founder of Loud Girl Goodies. I am a plant-based edible chef and I've been doing it for about four years. And today I'm partnering up with Green Goddess Supply to bring you some fun vegan recipes that you can make at home using your own infusions. So we're gonna be using Bud Today, Blackstrap, grown in the armoire system that Green Goddess sells, and the Butter Brewer, which is an infusion machine. So the first step in making edibles is to decarb our weed. We have our black strap ground up here, and the importance of decarboxylating the bud is because it releases the THC from the THCA. Heating up the plant will allow the THC to come out. If you just bake with bud like this without decarbing it, you're not gonna feel anything. So this machine, the Butter Brewer, will do it all. You can decarb in this machine. You just have to set a couple settings like temperature, time, and then there's also this agitator in here that will mix the bud as it's decarbing so that all of the bud gets equally decarbed. We got our temperature set to 225. We're gonna leave it in here for 35 minutes and we're gonna set the agitator to rotate for a minute every five minutes. So you just lift the handle here. You'll see the agitator in here. You take your bud, we have about a half ounce here, and we just go ahead and dump it into the butter brewer machine. Pretty simple. After this, close up the lid, turn it to the center position, and then you're just gonna press the start button after you have all of your settings set. Temperature is 225 degrees, time 35 minutes. Everything is all set here. We're just gonna go ahead and start. As you can see here, the agitator is spinning in the butter brewer machine. This is so that the bud moves around and gets evenly heated. We're waiting for the bud to decarb. Eric was showing me the armors that he has in his living room. Look at these things. I mean, it's just everything that you need. There's fans in here, there's a scrubber, there's a light, adjustable light that goes up and down. So, so cool. I'm learning so much. All right, so the Butter brewer just went off. Let's check on the bud. We're gonna flip it open here. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. Wow. So in the instructions, you have to take this off to cool for a little bit before you add the coconut oil. So let me just take this off. We're just gonna set it right on the counter to cool. I'm using coconut oil today because I'm a plant-based chef, um, but you can use butter, olive oil, MCT oil, anything that you fancy. Really. The bud is all cooled down now. We're gonna put it back into this machine and the butter brewer knows exactly how to infuse oil and butter and tincture. It has specific buttons for the three. We use the DIY mode for the decarbing, but here you just press oil and you press start. So we used a half ounce of flour. We're gonna put in a cup of oil. So measure this out real quick. Again, I'm using coconut oil. I love using coconut oil because it's really high in saturated fats, which really loves picking up the THC. This butter brewer machine really is incredible though. I usually am brewing my oil in a crock pot for about four days. And with the presets here to make oil, it takes an hour, which is pretty incredible. So we're just gonna add the oil here. Beautiful. I'm gonna give it a little stir. And again, this will just be ready in about an hour's time. And then it'll be all ready to use. Close up the lid, turn it to the center, press the oil button, press start. Doesn't get easier than this, really. The agitator is spinning again. I'm not sure what the frequency is because I just am using the oil preset. But again, this will help to distribute the heat really evenly so that the oil gets super potent and evenly distributed. This oil looks fantastic. Next, we're going to strain it with this mesh strainer bag that actually comes with the machine. Just set it in any type of container. We're gonna use a four cup measuring cup here. First, we're gonna scrape off all the excess bud from the agitator. Make sure we get all of that goodness in there. And then, it's still a little hot, so I'm gonna go in with some hot pads here. Oops. And carefully, very carefully, we are going to dump this just right into the strainer. Again, carefully. And this fine mesh strainer will just separate the flour from the oil so that in the bottom 
the thing. We just get the pure oil, no sediment. I'm gonna scoop all of the oil out of this container. Make sure you get every last drop. And once it does cool down, I like to use my hands in the fine mesh strainer to just squeeze out all of the oil from the bud. We let it sit here for a while to strain. All right, I think I got it all. And then once it's cooled down a little bit more, we'll lift this up from here and we'll squeeze out this bottom section of the strainer so that all of the oil comes out from this strainer into the cup. So one of the easier recipes that I'm going to show you how to make today um, is called puppy chow. Some people call it muddy buddies. It's a rice crispy or rice check cereal um, coated with chocolate and peanut butter and then all topped with powdered sugar. So let's get right into it. I have some chocolate chips here. We're going to add this to a microwave safe bowl. Chocolate chips, earth balanced butter, add this in here. And then to make it infused, we're gonna add one tablespoon of our infused oil here. Add that all in. And then lastly, we're gonna add our peanut butter. Come in here, pop the peanut butter right in. And then we're gonna throw this in the microwave until it's all melted. You wanna microwave it in 30 second increments and stir in between to make sure the chocolate doesn't burn. Almost there, I think I'm gonna throw it in for another 10 or so seconds just to get these last chocolate chips melted out. But smells delicious, really peanut buttery. We'll just throw it in for a couple more seconds. We just took the chocolate peanut butter mix out of the microwave, it's nice and smooth now. Um, we wanna add the vanilla, the half teaspoon of vanilla after you're done microwaving it because vanilla can burn. So you just wanna add a little bit of that vanilla flavor and then go ahead and here, stir it one more time. And then it's time to assemble our puppy chow. Get three cups of rice check cereal, put it into a bowl, and then take this chocolate, vanilla, peanut butter mixture now. We're just gonna pour it on the top. We're gonna stir it all together first. Make sure you get all of that goodness because the chocolate part is what's infused. So you want to get every last bit in here to ensure you're accurate dosing. Perfect. Go in with our little mixing spoon. Just mix this until everything is evenly coated with chocolate. So our cereal is now nice and coated with this chocolate peanut butter mixture. And this is where the brown paper bag comes in. This is the way my mom taught me how to make puppy chow, so I'm just gonna stick with that method. You're gonna pour in the powdered sugar into the bottom of this paper bag, and then you go ahead and add the cereal mixture. Scoop out all the chocolate. Set this to the side. And then you wanna just fold this once or twice, and then start shaking and it's gonna get all coated in here. Probably do this for a minute or two just to make sure everything's coated. You can peek in on it and see how it's going. I'm gonna peek on it right now. Some of the powdered sugar is falling at the bottom. Oh, it's almost there. A couple more shakes. Check on it again. I'm gonna break up some of these pieces. It's so good. So 
much for joining me today. Again, my name is Carolyn from Loud Girl Goodies, and as you can see in front of me, we've baked our baked goods today from start to finish with everything homegrown, starting with our organic cannabis grown in the armoire system that's sold on Green Goddess Supply, all the way to the butter brewer machine, which can decarb and infuse your oil which gives us our final product, this beautiful dark infused coconut oil. I do want to say one thing about the coconut oil. Be careful how you're dosing your goods. So start small. As you can see in the videos, I'm using a very minuscule amount of oil. If you want, you can always go get your oil tested at a lab. If you're in a state with adult use cannabis, you can buy at home testing machines, but just make sure to start small, maybe with an eighth of a teaspoon, then work up to a quarter teaspoon. Don't try to put a half cup of oil into one batch of brownies. That will give you very strong product. Um, and of course we have our cinnamon rolls here. So I hope everyone enjoys these videos. Please let us know what you think and we'll see you soon.